everybody. I hope you're all doing well. I've got a 30 minute session I'm doing for a client. I'm gonna go ahead and read the goals here and we'll get started. Okay. I am experiencing intense pressure in my crown and third eye and at the center of my head, perhaps the pineal gland. It ranges from immensely pressurable in the morning to uncomfortable, even painful in the evening. It started about 18 months ago when it felt like a delicious melon being scooped with a spoon, then a fruit ripening like a juicy pear or mango. Now it feels like two large snakes writhing around trying to eat their way out. And sometimes it feels as though the universe is trying to push its way in, sometimes both. Sometimes it feels like an iceberg cracking and wanting to cave. I would like for it to bring itself to completion and break through my skull. Okay. I love, I love how you're describing your experience here. It's very colorful and creative and it's actually a, a reflection of you doing a journey on yourself. So you exploring psychically what it, your experience looks like and feels like obviously to go a step further with it is to heal it to actually let's just say see the snakes as not um, creating pain and suffering because they're your friends now so you can alter the energy by developing a relationship with that energy so now for instance we see these writhing snakes and we calm them all right we, you just walk yourself right into that image and you just touch those beautiful snakes, okay? And you tell them peace. Just You can just use a power word like peace. Or you can touch them and say, I love you. It's okay to relax now. If it's not going anywhere, you could say to the snakes, why are you like this? Writhing around and trying to break free, can you help me understand? and then just be patient with it and see if there's a silent answer that rises up from inside yourself. Like, they're acting this way because of this. Y you could totally do this. You're already really, I mean, you're already psychic. Maybe you just need to cross the line in that awareness and then give yourself the credit and the permission to do the psychic work. Maybe that's the next step for you. But what you're going through is fascinating to me and I'm really delighted to get to help you today and uh, give me just a moment here we're gonna get you all fixed up all right <laughs> let's see what's going on okay well it does feel quite uncomfortable and it's not as if I'm just walking into your head. I, I walk into your energy field and you're fighting with lots and lots and lots of snakes. And they're more than just, it's almost like they're a, like a, when they strike you, they kind of stay stuck like a leech. Um, and so there's many attached to you all over. That's what it looks like just walking into your energy field, okay? So are you fighting with yourself then? Are these snakes a reflection of you trying to get your attention and you're not understanding what they're saying? So they're getting pissed off and taking it out on you in order for you to wake up? <laughs> we don't know yet. These are just ideas. All right, let's keep looking at this. Okay. I'm just relaxing the scene down. You, you're you here, you're calming down right along with me. And as you calm down, then the snakes calm down as well. And they don't really understand their purpose. And they're just starting to kind of fall off and they look a bit confused. The snakes do. But you look meditative, like a, a powerful... Uh, bodhisattva or like I mean you look like Buddha level meditative and you have that energy about you but you're struggling inside yourself and I can feel that even when you try to hold on to the onto the meditation and the snakes kind of fall and they're confused looking around not really sure what their purpose is or what to do I feel this in your heart 
this, uh, it's just like an unbalanced feeling, <sighs> kind of like a, there's something that you're just supposed to discover about yourself that isn't um, fully understood yet. And that's what it feels like, the Im imbalanced aspect in your heart. But as I look at this image, there's also you, a duplicate of yourself over here in meditation without any snakes. And there's an odd glow, like a brownish red colored glow um, that is primarily around you. And then as it gets further out, it's just darker. And even here, there's a, everything looks really amazing and it does give off this this powerful um, meditative Buddha type energy, but something is unsettled or not not fully satisfied, even with this image. So both you with the snakes meditating and you without the snakes and this brownish red glow meditating, both are lacking something. And now we're starting to get into your head. So before I was led into what is starting at the back of your head, um, I'm trying to merge these two sides of yourself together to bring you into oneness with yourself. So you're, you're more powerful when you're more collected. <laughs> why you're like this I'm not sure but to bring these two parts of you together is going to help us um, in this process however my guides are saying just just let the images be as they are and let's move a step further and they're taking me into your head okay your head is absolutely chock full of stuff and I mean, it's like splitting your head and trying to, it's, it's like, how did this stuff get here? I don't know. How do I want to describe what's in here? Um, let's say wood chips and lots and lots of different types of grasses and plants. <laughs> and it's kind of uh, opening, it's forcing its way out in the back of your head. And it just kind of like falling out, like just random foresty looking, um, uh, like wood chips, like little bits of wood and sticks and um, grasses and dirt and things like that are coming out. And I mean, I don't even know how it got stuffed in there to this extreme degree. Like, why is it in there in the first place? I don't know. All right, there's a lot more going on. So I'm showing you, your inner selves, what I'm looking at here. So I'm just taking a part of your consciousness out to look at this with me at the back of your head. And I'm saying, this is what I'm looking at here. But there's so much more going on in your energy field as we're looking at this together. The next thing I'm going to do, because I gotta do one thing at a time, but I feel like there's so many things that need, need attention here to bring you into balance and to um, help you feel better, alleviate what's going on. The next thing I'm to do is to get you grounded. Obviously we're looking at two different versions of yourself and they're in this lotus position, they're levitating and they're two different worlds, but they're kind of interconnected. My spirit guides say again, just let those images go. We're gonna just start with a new image of you and we're gonna just see you and then bring you right on down. You're kind of in the sky. So we're just going to bring you right on down to the ground. And we're going to just plant you. Your like feet are going to turn to roots. And we're just going to grow those roots right into the earth like super deep. And so we're just bringing you really, really into the earth. Okay. So that's what I'm working on next. Getting you grounded. Okay. You're starting to cry in the eyes. There's a stress energy in the head right now. Um, it's been kind of a long time coming for your energy to shift, so it's a bit emotional. You also wonder if it will ever shift. Is this possible? <laughs> Can I really be set free from this? So kind of those types of emotions because your energy field is shifting and you're noticing it. Oh man. 
what do I make of all of this? I just, one thing at a time, so I'm still just getting you um, grounded. So you're kind of a mirage of many echoes of you, and it kind of creates a snake-like, um, like you're doing a conga line with yourself, okay? <laughs> and then the, the line kind of creates like a snake-like, uh, it looks like a kind of a snake. And I see this just in the ethers of your energy field uh, all, while I'm simultaneously grounding you while I also still see the two levitating versions of yourself. One has a snakes, one not. Um, also standing still in the back of your head looking at this coming out the back with this other part of your consciousness. So all this stuff is still happening, okay? All simultaneously. There's something that is chaotic here. I'm trying to get to it. It's just, it sort of uh, keeps itself contained. So um, what could be, we had this very loud chaos, but you're in control of yourself. So you're just putting um, like it in a box, but it's unresolved. So you have to just let that out. It, it, ha it has to be as loud and as overwhelming as it possibly can get. Um, so I'm, um, I'm not going to let you be in control of the chaos because it just simply needs to heal. Otherwise, it's just chaos in a box that is kind of wanting to come out and you're trying to sit on it to keep it contained. <laughs> um, so it isn't ever going to go away until we let it out and just let it loose. This is all inter also interconnected with your throat. You have other things that you're trying to contain and you you really care about being in control of yourself <sighs> to be composed. Okay. Okay. Well, just there's just the energies right now. It just feels very exhausting because there, there's your energy field is shifting, so lots of old stuff is just wafting away right now. There's some density to it. <sighs> I'm making my way towards the you and the box with the chaos. <sighs> this is very interesting. As I'm making my way towards this scene, I start to realize how... Um, not relaxed you are. Which surprises me because everything that I've experienced is a choosing meditation, is choosing um, to express that type of energy and actually does feel that way. But in getting you grounded and just showing you yourself um, these different images, I'm f in this energy sort of wafting out, I'm starting to feel how you can't really relax. And perhaps the true you is all of this peaceful stuff um, and choosing peacefulness, but not actually able to attain it. And so this, you're not relaxed. You're very um, tense energetically. That's part of the chaos that we're letting out. You're in control of it, you're containing it, but it's not transforming, it's not releasing. So the closer I get to this, I'm starting to realize how much energy you have to put into keeping this contained in order to meditate and be peaceful. It's um, not, you're never gonna really feel relaxed, truly relaxed, and what you're capable of when you're relaxed. <laughs> Your heart is uh, it, just talking right now. You're releasing stuff out of your heart. In the back of your head, it doesn't look like earthy things. It just feels like energy coming out. Your third eye is starting to relax more. Um, again, the feeling of you coming down to earth and getting grounded. This is just me working my way towards the, the, the contained chaos. 
is already moving things, is already creating enlightenment and, and um, self-reflection. You keep this energy in an addict-like space. So it's always kind of above and over there. So, and oddly enough, it's um, a bit blocked off. And even for me, like you just you just kind of made sure you closed the door, closed it tight. It's more than just in a box that you're kind of sitting on. Um, now the scene is like it's it, it it's never getting out of there. It's in this it's in this contained space in this super safe, and no and I'm the only one that knows the code, you know. So it's like you're keeping it really blocked off in an awkward energetic dimension. So it, it's even awkward for me to reach it. You created all these safeguards. The closer I get, the more that this is a part of your mental body. This safe and attic. So you locked this energy in your own mind. It's kind of creepy and cool. <laughs> there needs to be a Netflix series on this. <laughs> I would watch it. <laughs> okay. Let's see here. Okay, you're, you're very interesting. You, <sighs> do you see how long it's taking me to, to get to your chaos? Like, do you see? I should be there, okay? And now I'm, I'm literally in this house, this weird, um, amazing house, this is super antique, and it, it has this, like, a spiral staircase that goes to many different dimensions. It's a, this, it has so many rooms, and you're, like, the keeper of this, like, ultra house. <laughs> and uh, and then this is in like a secret room of the house and I'm in here and you're kind of the keeper here you keep things organized and I'm in your head and this is sort of like going straight in to the inside like in the center of your head is all this I tell this keeper of the house here, I just tell him you need to let that chaos out and if it breaks your whole house down and destroys all these dimensions, then it was meant to be. You need to let, you just need to let it be what it needs to be. It just set that, to set that free or we need to transform it. I'm not sure which yet. And you keep things tidy, you keep things together, you keep things neat. Like this energy space is, you know where every little thing is. And, and you keep it dusted and you keep it clean and keep it tidy. So the idea of letting this out is, and the whole place being just totally destroyed is kind of out of the question. But you're not, um, you're still open-minded because you know the importance of it. Okay. We're really making progress, just so you know. We're making really good progress. I'm in a new layer. We're still interconnected with this house, but we're just a little bit further in. And I see you, and it's almost like you're made out of, a, like, as thick as a pizza. Um, but it's kind of um, squishy and it's your face <laughs> and it and it's almost like a mask like a skin that you could wear but it, it's definitely like a mask not not like somebody's skin it's like a halloween mask but it's it's more artistic it's like um the phantom of the opera but it's like a squishy piece that you could put over your f whole face and so when I look at the mask, there's no eyes because you're not wearing it. And it's just kind of kept in this, uh, it's like a little dark room and there's just a tiny little bit of light that shines into this room. Okay, our, uh, um, artistic performances, you, you know the mask, that, uh, the one that's happy and then the one that's sad? And they kind of represent um, the theater. Um, so I'm seeing that here. But I just see the mask that's sad. 
All right, now this has a lot to do with your heart and then your emotional gut, the sacral chakra as well. Exhaustion from the eyes and then it goes down, okay. I still feel that we're working with containing too much and you really need to set yourself free Because even now, I, I feel like we're, we're, we are ourselves in a box. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to stop and stand here. And I'm going to send love and energy into every image that we've seen thus far. I'm just growing like an ultra tree and I'm growing roots and, and branches and everything and I'm reaching into every scene and I'm I'm just ex just moving love into just like expressing it through my roots and branches. And it's kind of interconnecting everything and it's choosing acceptance of everything that we've seen. Part of part of this um next next thing I need to do is to tell all these scenes that you are beautiful just the way you are because sometimes when we say that you need to change or you need to be different or you're not good enough which doesn't necessarily echo in your energy field but something is telling me that I need to just lo let, let love just love it all w without saying it needs to change or be different it'll alter the energy even more and let things relax even more because it doesn't have to be different today. It can just be what it needs to be to express itself like this and that its words and its voice are beautiful just the way they are. Everything we're seeing is like your inner child trying to get a message through to you and it just happens to look like this. So please um, love me for just the best as I know how to be or how to say or how to do. Um, so me even talking about this is all, also reaching all these different scenes and, and letting them be more like a child trying to figure out the right words to say to be heard or understood. And it's your energy field. It's beautiful just the way it is. really allowing you to experience relaxation with me, like true relaxation. Telling you that we need to just let the chaos be whatever it wants to be without judgment. And perhaps this isn't as chaotic as we think. What if it's your inner child you locked away, you know? Egos do messed up stuff and we don't even realize half the things that are going on. <sighs> Perhaps you are breaking free, actually awakening. And ego had to come up with a solution to this because ego does. That's one of the hardest parts about awakening is and, and developing psychic gifts is you're going to have aspects of you that are going to hog tie you and say, nope. No, <laughs> you're going to be human. This is survival. If you start going out into the infinite unknown, I won't be able to help you. So I'm doing this for your greater good. Egos like that, okay? <laughs> we don't know still what's in that, but uh, again, just getting this all to relax. Everything is beautiful just as it is. Feeling tired, that's good. Because you're letting go of all the energy that you're putting into keeping this all together. So you're investing way too much energy in this. Keeping this together. You can 
continuing to let you feel relaxed. All right, I'm going to tell you the next thing here. So getting you grounded and relaxed is helping us to see something else about you. You're actually coming into a more harmonious place just by being like kind of you're just yourself loose and limber and it's just laid back, flexible, don't have to take things too seriously. So now we're looking upward into the sky and we see the two yous, these uh, meditative Buddha types. And they're kind of, it's almost like I'm, I'm, sh I'm starting to see them as balloons that you need to let go of. Both of them, they're like twins in a way and both of them are not in balance. And just to let both of them go Maybe you are the true master without any extra stuff. <laughs> huh. I'm really intrigued by you. Okay. <laughs> You're letting go of the balloons. And when you do that, that is a choice to let go of what is kind of become manipulative <laughs> so but it won't let itself go of you this laid back relaxed you this is choosing to be in control of you now and um, it created a force field dome so that the balloons could never be released into the infinite um, so you're now imprisoned with them so who's it who's up to who's doing this Who's doing this? Who's deciding that my client here can't let go of their own Buddha looking balloons? Who says that he, he can't do that? <laughs> it's a very twisted looking guy. And he kind of flickers on and off and he's black um, and red energy. He's very sinister, but he's also very Buddha-like, um, like well-developed energy. I mean, he's you, you can feel that he has depth and development, absolutely, but he's not balanced. He's kind of like um, <sighs> Jafar, like uh, this mm, chaos sorcerer, but is like really collected really developed but still out of balance he acts as both a master teacher to you but he's also becoming a student of yours because the true balance actually lies within you and the secret to true balance lies within you and there's something of this relationship that you are definitely going to learn depth and development with this energy consciousness, which is somehow also a reflection of yourself. But this part of yourself is, it's, um, it's time is out now. It's this time is complete. So now the role reversal is about to take place here. And in the role reversal, you are the teacher, the master teacher to this one. This Jafar type. Because he needs to get off his high horse and stop being a dictator. And he sort of uh, owns the knowledge of, of it all. Like he knows everything, but he doesn't because he's out of balance. He's missing something and it's love. It's the sincerity, it's genuine energies, it's simplicity even, it's... 
it could even define it as imperfection which is the nature of the universe is always growing expanding and becoming more and in that way then imperfection is the true beauty but he is quite s solid and stubborn and he he is he is it he is the master he's got it he's fighting uh, all of this conversation because he doesn't w once he loses this battle he'll never be able to win it again he will be reduced to a baby and he doesn't want to start over again he doesn't want to become a baby again because all of his his purpose and what has developed this extraordinary Jafar-like being is now reduced to a beginning. And that's a terrifying thing for him. But all the while, you have been growing. And you've been growing strong and bright and beautiful. And so this transformation of this Jafar character, which is also a reflection of the chaos, <laughs> It's also a reflection of other things, okay? Is only is only going to set you free from yourself. Cause this is also a part of you. You're starting to remember your own personal power. And as you bring that power back into who you are, which the Jafar actually wanted this all along. It just now happening and it's starting to come into a, a weird uh, resistance and fear when it doesn't need to be. Because um, as I see this Jafar character transform into energy that returns to you, I see that newborn baby is born within yourself, inside your heart. So, and, and I see you as glowing with extraordinary light. There's still uh, energy structures here, but my gosh, this has been such a transformative process. Like it's very impressive. And you feel like true peace and relaxation. You feel bright from the inside out. You feel like you can let go of quite a lot of things. And to start bringing the energy back to you to get to know who you are now as this new part persona of your own identity. It's almost like all the, the fruit images and the ice cracking and the snakes that was necessary in or order to go through this process and experience but now we're just going to start with a fresh canvas so none of that exists anymore and on the fresh canvas it's just a smiling face just a bright yellow happy emoji <laughs> but it's old school <laughs> it's just a happy face <laughs> and that energy is being brought back to you and nothing else really matters but that joy and love and balance and peace with yourself. You feel really bright and uh, I mean the energy in here is very lovely. It's like I just took a vacation to a really beautiful place like Hawaii. I mean your energy field right now reminds me of a very beautiful place. So <laughs> that's great. That's really great. <laughs> There's still some very interesting, um, I mean, you have a lot of interesting things going on here. And I, I can feel some energy walls, but it, it's, it's like we're always going to have energy walls. We're always going to have blocks because we're always going to be um, imperfect, you know? We're going to be growing and expanding and we need those blocks in order to learn new lessons, right? Um, so I can feel some of this like 
close by, like, um, wow, there's so much more we can do here. But what we've accomplished thus far is your energy field feels beautiful, like Hawaii. <laughs> so maybe just start there. Let this digest uh, for a few weeks and see how you're doing, okay? Because energy work, it's, it's not just like 30 minute session and then done. It's actually a gift that keeps on giving. So you get to process it over time. I mean, it's an infinite gift of love, so it never goes away. It's always with you. But in the human world, you'll feel it the most noticeably the first two weeks. So, <laughs> and then it just, it's just a part of you, okay? It's part of your, who you are now. All right. Thank you so much. This has been a very beautiful and unique experience. And thank you for sharing as well. And uh, for those of you watching, if any of you are interested in exploring a psychic session with me, please visit me on my website at abbynormalswisdomquest.com. Okay. Thank you all for watching and I wish you all a beautiful day.